What's going on, folks? And welcome to True 100 with me, your boy, AMA. Of course, it's another beautiful Saturday. I haven't really been outside, so I don't know how hot or cold it is. But the sun is shining, it looks like. So, hey, today I'm actually get out the house. I haven't been out the house in like the last two days. Watch, you know, but I'm going to get out today. So, just to give you our, our normal prelude, um, check out YouTube. Keep checking out True 100 here on Facebook. Keep following us. Finally got all of the internet stuff figured out and fixed. So hopefully today we're not going to cut out. We're going to have a good show. It's going to be consistent. So everything should go posted and be able to, uh, you know, keep going and not get cut off today. So everything should be good. I would take off the hat, honestly. It's not just for a fashion thing, but I need to get a haircut. So, rat, I got to call you. But... That's all our prelude stuff right there. Today, we're going to talk about something that I know and I'm pretty sure a lot of other shows are going to be talking about. As we all know, Valentine's Day is Tuesday, February 14th. That's the day of love. And I already know that everybody in Eight Mama are going to be talking about Valentine's Day, like I said before. And it's going to be, well, what are, what are we going to get? What's somebody going to do? Oh, my God, it's the day of love and all of that stuff. And, oh, what are you going to get for your Valentine? Well, I'm not going to talk about that crap because, honestly, we true 100 around here. We don't ever do anything conventional. As you can see, I'm kicking it with the TV on. But we're not going to talk about that. We're not about to sit here and talk about Valentine's Day. And, oh, my God, what are we going to get and what are we going to do and all that stuff. That's just not our style. Today, I'm going to ask this one question, and I want everybody to respond. Is Valentine's Day even important? What is the purpose of Valentine's Day? I really want to know. Like, I really want to know how people feel about this. I feel like, at what point does it still, like, at what point does it not matter? It Does it always matter? Is it just a day that's just going to just continuously, that if, your man or, you know, and some, if your man, your woman, if they don't do something for you, like, you just gonna flip out. It just means that they don't care about you. It doesn't mean that they don't love you. Honestly, when does Valentine's, is Valentine's Day even important? What is the purpose of this? I want folks to comment because I really want to know. I'm, I'm really curious about knowing if it's, if it's actually important because if it's not that freaking important, then why are we always making such a big deal out of it? I remember growing up, like I said, growing up, the day of love was just like always just this big prime thing that everybody had to do. Like when you was in a relationship, Valentine's Day was just like, I'm not going to say in life, it was like one of the most dreaded times of the year because you know that you have to do something. You feel like you're obligated to do something. You are obligated to sit here and get up and go do something. Not even necessarily because you want to, but because it is expected. You have to get up and you have to go be romantic. That's when all of a sudden, all, oh, I just really want you to surprise me. Like, I really just, I don't know. Like, babe, what do you want to do for Valentine's Day? I don't know. I just really want you to surprise me. Like, oh, my God. That's just, be creative. Like, why? Why are you not creative? Like, oh my God, like, just come up with something. Come up with anything. Like, I don't really want to do anything. And what always pissed me off about Valentine's Day is, like, the guy is supposed to, like, go above and beyond. We're supposed to go buy diamonds. We're supposed to go buy, you know, huge, like, big heat, like, amounts of gifts Outfits, heels, purses, and this, that, and the other. We supposed to spend hundreds and thousands of dollars on one freaking day. Now, when we spend hundreds and thousands of dollars for diamonds, purses, shoes, outfits, this, that, and the other, what do we get? We get a dinner. You might get like a, je a pair of jeans or something. You, might, <laughs> you know, you might get... Uh, that's the night that you might it that you might get you some with her not complaining and stuff like that. But that's it. We didn't bought you. We didn't bought diamonds. We didn't bought necklaces. We didn't bought outfits. We didn't spent five six hundred dollars and we didn't left money all over the place. We didn't did this. And all we got was a pair of jeans, a hug, a kiss, and what we've been getting throughout the whole entire year. If you good enough. 
Really? <laughs> so I'm always curious. Is it important? Is Valentine's Day really important? And if it is, why? I, I'm, I'm just a firm believer. I'm, I'm one of those people who believe that if you've been showing love throughout the whole entire year, Valentine's Day is not... It, Valentine's Day shouldn't be nothing more than just another day. Valentine's Day shouldn't be anything more than just a day that it's like, okay, hey, it's Tuesday. You know, yeah, okay, it's Valentine's Day. If I do anything... I don't feel like it should be this big, huge expectation after a while. Now, I, I'll, I'll admit this. If you're just starting out in a relationship, to me, it makes sense. To me, it makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense to sit here and say, okay, hey, we're just starting out. So, okay, so okay the romantics and stuff like that, we're just starting. And, you know, hey, let's, you know, let's do this. You know, let, let me be this romantic person. In it, but I feel like it should go both ways. I don't feel like it should just be on the guy to be the romantic. I feel like it should be on the woman to be romantic, too. Your man is in a relationship with you. Your man deserves to get stuff, too. So, I'm like, I don't understand. I, that's where, to me, it's kind of lost because it's like, I don't understand where it went that the guy just has to be romantic on Valentine's Day and the girl is just supposed to receive everything on Valentine's Day. And then they came up with Sweetheart's Day, but... That's like the most garbage. Like, that's not even a recognized holiday. But it's Sweetheart's Day or whatever. I don't even know when that freaking day is. But I just know it's after Valentine's Day or whatever. But I'm saying, like, I understand it in that sense. I understand it in the sense of, okay, hey, we're, we're freshly together. So this, this is important. It's just because this is the holiday of whatever. So it's okay. But I feel like once you've hit that, you know, that point to where we've been together, we are together, we are established, and it's like, okay, like, hey, I know your story, you know my story, we done been together, we done came together off of so many different things, we've, we've bonded, we've done this and that and this. I feel like after a while, Valentine's Day should just be like, meh. Because if you, that's what I'm saying, because if you did your job right, throughout the whole entire year, then there's no point of this one particular day being singled out. Think about it. You have particular days singled out that you're supposed to be together. Of course, on birthdays, major holidays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Fourth of July, stuff like that. Stuff that you are going to automatically be together on. And then here it is. It's just like another day to sit out here and say, we're going to spend all of this money. We just want you to spend globs and globs and globs and bukus of money to literally say, I love you, and you've been saying this, and you should have been saying this all year. Honestly, I'm one of those people who believe Valentine's Day is really for a bunch of people who don't really get love like that on a regular basis. You really don't have like a whole bunch of people that's just around you or you don't have nobody on Valentine's Day and you're just happy to have somebody with you on this day. So like you want them to go crazy and above and beyond. That's really what I think Valentine's Day is for. I think it's literally for the person who really doesn't get love on a regular basis. So this is like the one day that you set aside and get love. Which is actually kind of sad if you really kind of think about it. I, I kind of feel like it's it's a little it's literally a little bit sad that that has to be like that. It kind of sucks when you really think about it. But I don't think Valentine's Day, honestly, I don't think Valentine's Day is for real couples. I don't think Valentine's Day is for people who are in love. I don't think Valentine's Day is for people who have been through stuff. Because Valentine's Day is a is a is an added pressure on both sides. Well, it should be both sides. But like I said, I, I kind of think it's just more towards the guy. It's more pressure on the guy to be this huge romantic, not because I actually want to be, but because society is telling me that I have to be, and you're telling me and expecting me to be. And that ain't necessarily, that's not a good thing. Because why in the world do I want to put pressure on you to be something that you may not necessarily be? And I'm not sitting there talking, everybody... I, there's nothing wrong with romance, by all means. I, I I believe there's nothing wrong with romance, but 
I don't believe that there is a force. I don't feel like anybody should sit here and have to force you to be romantic. It shouldn't be a day that we just set aside and be like, oh, on February 14th, if you're not romantic, then you suck. We ain't together. We're done. We're over. What the hell? If I've been romantic towards you literally 364 days out of the year, what does it matter on this particular day of 365 that I am or am not? What's the purpose? What, what literally blows my mind is, is that people fall into this idea that if you are not romantic, if you do not care enough about me on this particular day to show me you love me, then, oh, my God, we, we just can't make it. It says volumes about what you feel about me. How? That's why I'm asking the question, is Valentine's Day really important? What is the significance? I know that it's supposed to be about love. I know that it's supposed to be about caring. It's supposed to be about the couples. But if I don't get you, if I don't get, you know, a girl anything on Valentine's Day, does that mean I, does that mean that I don't care? Does it mean that I don't have feelings for her? Does it mean that I don't, you know, does it mean I'm just this complete and utter jackass? And mind you, I, and everybody who watches True 100 and everybody who has ever been involved knows that, honestly, we are jackasses. Like, I am a jackass. I'm a nice guy. Don't get the game to us. It is a halo. But I, I have jackasses moments. So it's not really a shock if it's a jack, if I'm becoming a jackass. But it, what does it mean if I don't do anything on this day and I've done my job and I've done and continuously do, you know, my job at showing you love, showing you care, showing you affection, being there when it means something, being there when you need me to be there, being there, not just when you, like I said, when you want me there, do, doing what it is that it takes to show love. Because love is an action word. Love is just not a word. It, it is used like this, but Love should not be something that you just say to somebody and you never show. Love is always an action word. Love is not just a, on February 14th day. Uh, on the, It's a February, uh, ah, February 14th thing. Love is something that you show day in, day out. You know, hour in, hour out. 365 days. You know, that's that's what love is. And so, though people use it as just words, love is actions. Love is showing you know, it's not just, and it is giving, love is giving, love is putting aside your ego to receive at some times, because I know, honestly, for me, that's a big thing, to set aside your ego, because I am a person who literally, I firmly believe in doing my best to take care of myself, so I don't let a lot of people, like, try to help me or take care of me and stuff like that, but love is literally coming in to sit here and say, okay, hey, you got to set aside your ego. You got to set aside that mentality of, you know, you you do everything for yourself. And even when you can't, you try to either go without or try to figure out how to do it. And it's letting somebody else who cares enough about you to want to help you, help you. So that is love too. So love is get is receiving sometimes. And that's putting that ego on the shelf and taking it. But I always wonder, cause, and I got a comment down here, so hold on, I got I to gotta get on my uh, handy-dandy mobile Facebook app. And so, and because I normally have this up by now, but my fault. No, I don't. I always do this in front of y'all. That way y'all know I care. Okay, we're good. Now, like I said, I always want. I'm wondering. I'm. I'm curious. I, I really am. I, I'm really curious. Is Valentine's Day still important? If I don't get you anything on Valentine's Day, is that important? I. I need somebody to answer that. Cause I'm a guy too. So for us, it's different. For us, it's, it's, it's a little bit different because I don't really think guys. I think honestly, guys and. Men and women just have different ideas of romance. Men and women have total, total different ideas of romance. I'm going to be honest. For me, I I don't require romance. Romance to me is a different thing. Romance to me is if we live together, you paid the bill and I didn't have to ask. Like romance is, you know what? You cleaned up and you ain't say nothing. Like you ain't say nothing about my shirt being on the floor. 
or romance is, you just left me alone. That's romantic to me. Like you, like you see, I am not in the mood to talk to you, and you didn't talk to me. That is romantic. Like that to me, all my you love me. There's a pacer game on, and anybody who knows me knows I am a pacer fan. I am a Colts fan. So when that game is on, love to me and being romantic is just all my, like, hey, babe, the pacer game is on. I'm just not gonna bother you. That's love. That's love. That's love to a dude like me. It, I don't require, I don't really think guys require women to be like, hey, I want you to take me out. Like, I, I really want you to take me out to dinner. I want you to pay for my food. I want you to, like, do this. I, and for some guys, it is. Some guys like that. I'm not going to sit here and say that if I'm out with a woman and she and we've been together, and I, again, like I said, as a guy, we got to get to that point where, you know, that, you know, it's, it's like, okay, hey, she going to look, she going to pay and take care of it and everything like that. Like, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and lie and say, like, we do not, like, it's, it's got to get to that point. I'm not going to sit here and lie. It, it's got to get to that point to where you feel comfortable enough to, to let, you know, to let that happen. Because, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and knock it. Women are powerful. They're independent. Women make their own money. Some women just want to take care of their man. But you have to mentally get there as a guy. It's, it's a... For some guys, it's easy. Some guys are just bums, and they don't care. They'll let a woman in a minute with no feeling or no thought just pay for them, and it's like, oh, it's not yeah, bro. I got it like that. But I don't feel there's nothing wrong with that. I don't feel like there's nothing wrong with, you know, letting, you know, your woman or friend or whatever take you out, pay for it. Here and there. I don't want it all the time, but here and there. So I don't think there's nothing wrong with that, but I don't think that's necessarily a requirement for God. We don't really look at it that way. We're not really like, oh my God, take me out. You you didn't say anything, or you didn't. I got my hair cut, and you ain't say nothing about it. Like I don't. It, it's not us. I don't. Well, not most guys. I, I put a lot of guys that I know. It's that's not us. So romance to us is almost like, eh. It's it's, it's not something that we necessarily need. It's not that something that or we look at it differently. What we're required. And what we do is just completely different. So, I don't know. We we have two different ideas. And I wonder, do women understand that? I always wonder that question. I always ask that question. Do women understand the difference between their ideas of romance and their man's idea of romance? Like, is there, is there an understanding? Do you understand that I am not you? Do you understand that, you know, when... You require me to be romantic. You might require me to do A through Z to be romantic. Whereas for me, I just might need you to do A and C and that's it. You feel? We might have to skip B because I, you might not do B. <laughs> but you, I just need you to do A and C. You feel? There's not a whole A through Z thing. It's just A and, you know, A and C. So do you... I always wonder... Women, do you understand your man? Men saying, because we always ask this question, do women, do men understand women? Like, do, do men understand that women are this and they need this, 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 and this? Do men understand this? And then it's like, do women understand? Do women have the same idea that, that, okay, hey, you know, he needs this. Or he doesn't think like this as I do. He thinks like this. So, romantically do everybody understand everybody that's always the question do everybody understand the next person do you understand the person that you with and fellas the same thing for us like i said women have different ideas of romance you're a woman you got to know her you got to know your woman i mean it's it's, it's hands down you got to know your woman you got to know what your woman requires you got to know when she just talking, no, I really don't need that. You got to know when it's bull crap and when she's serious. Well, women is very difficult. Women speak in code. I'm not going to, I'm, I'm hard. Every dude knows that. Every, everybody knows that women speak in code. And any, and that's why I say I always want feedback. But I, women speak in code. So when they do, when a woman does sit here and say, okay, hey, 
no, I really don't require that. No, I really, you know, no, I really don't need it. No, I, no, I just, no. <laughs> don't you believe it? I believe women, they say what they, they say they don't need it in order to get you to be like, nah, yo, I need this. I really do need this. You know, or I really do want this. Like, are you going to do this? Like, that's just how it is. You know, do you know your woman and what is romantic? Because some women, truth be told, was romantic to one woman, ain't romantic to another one. Not every woman likes flowers. Not every woman likes candy. Not every woman likes purses or something like that so do or they don't like going out and being all mushy some women are not mushy some women are just like take me for pizza you know take me for pizza take me to a good movie and i'm good you have women who are like that which is killer <laughs> which is great when you find them when you find them hold on to them Hold on to them. Because they are they they are so rare. But I'm just saying, it's it's real. So on this day, on Tuesday, it is the National Day of Love. It's Valentine's Day. It is going to be a very long day for some. Because everybody knows everybody and their mama are gonna be trying to go out. Everybody and their mama going to be at the movie theaters. Everybody's going to be everywhere on this day because this is the day that we have set aside for love. And my question is, is it really important? Is it really important that we have all of this stuff going on on this particular day? Is it important that we really sit here and do all of this stuff to show that we care on this particular day. And like I said earlier, the question to me is, if this is the only day that is set aside for love, if this is the only day that you have to do anything, why? Like, does the rest of the year just subside because I didn't do nothing on this day? Or is it that the fact that I haven't done nothing for the rest of the year, does it... You like, does it all make it all better that I did something for you on this particular day? Like, are we just settling? Have we just settled into this idea that Valentine's Day is just necessary? And if we have, why? I don't personally know. It's, it's not an important day to me. If I get something, I get something. If I don't, I don't. It's just, it's not really a great day. It's not really something that necessarily means anything. Sorry, I got a comment here. I'm trying to read it. Oh, we have one person who feels that Valentine's Day is not necessary. I thank you and I appreciate that, Cameron. <sighs> but always leave your man alone when he's on the game. We don't want we that's that is the worst time to cuddle. I'm just not gonna be I'm just gonna go ahead and be honest with you. That is the worst time to cuddle with a man on is when you're watching the game. Worst time to cuddle. Especially if it's a football game. Worst time. Why? Because y'all might get thrown. Just not going to lie to you. I, If a woman was ever laying on me during the football game, that is going to be the worst. Oh, my God. She is going she gonna to be upset. Because at the end of the day, she going to get tossed. In her ears, she going to be ringing. It's, all this is just going to be done. So I, I wouldn't do it. But, I mean, I understand. That's why I say I, I don't think Valentine's Day. And honestly, I think a lot of people don't feel that Valentine's Day is important. I don't feel, but it's, it's a social thing. It, I feel like I, I feel like I feel like it's a social thing because, and honestly, I think it's a day. Like I said, it's a day that's set aside for 
new couples. It's a day set aside for people who try to get to know each other. But I think it's also kind of a day that's set aside to kind of like criticize the folk and the person that don't have anybody or the person who just lost somebody. It's like, oh my God, this is the day that everybody's supposed to be together and you're not together. So, and you're not with anybody. So, why? Oh, you, uh, Valentine's Day, you're going to spend it alone. Oh my God. Like, no, you're going to spend it alone. Like, why? And then, like, and what's crazy is, People really feel bad if they're by themselves on Valentine's Day. People really go crazy at the fact that they that they're by themselves on Valentine's Day. I don't know why, but they they do. And I think is and I think Valentine's Day is a day that causes you to reflect on different things. It it causes you to reflect on where where you are with somebody, where you were with somebody. Where you are currently with nobody, it it causes you to reflect about your relationship status, where you've been in relationships, who you've been with in relationships, who you currently with or whatever. I think it causes you to reflect. I think Valentine's Day it it has this, uh, and I don't want to completely rag on Valentine's Day, by all means, it it serves purposes. You know, it has its ups and it has its, its downs, but I think to. You know, it's something, it's a day that, truth be told, I think if they canceled it, I don't really, the only people that would miss it is the chocolate, you know, the chocolate factories, the Hallmark cards, and all that stuff, Because and the flower companies, they'll definitely miss it, because that's what, that's who benefits from it. I don't really think, and honestly, I don't really feel like people, we benefit from Valentine's Day, because I kind of feel like Valentine's Day is a time to where if I don't really care or if I don't really want to be here, I can get over on getting you this thing and showing you that, oh, you know, yeah, I, I actually, you know, yeah, I care. And yeah, you know, yeah, I do. Like, it's a day that you can get over. It's it's a day that you can honestly, and because everybody, you just want it. You just want it there. You just want somebody there. You want anybody paying attention to you. You want somebody... So people can get over. It's the best way that you can actually lie. That's probably, honestly, that's probably the biggest lie. And everybody does it and nobody pays no attention to it. They just go with it. Because it can blind you and it can keep you in a certain position and say, okay, hey, this is, yeah. You know, yeah, he cares because he did this. Or yeah, she cares because she did that. And it's not true. People say that they care all the time. I mean, let's be real. Folk can say whatever it is that they want to say. And, oh, man, yeah, I care. Oh, my God, I love you. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. You buy into it. But I don't know. I feel like Valentine's Day is just like an even bigger day that it can happen. And people can just be like, you know, yeah. And they buy into it deeper. But Valentine's Day is a cool day, though. You know, it, it gives you that opportunity to... Um, be with a person that you love. It gives you, and honestly, it gives you a reason to be overly mushy if you are that type of person. It gives you that opportunity. It gives you that that reason to be, you know, to go above and beyond what you normally might. You know, I think it gives you a reason, but I don't feel like that's the only day that it has to give you a reason. Like I don't feel like that has to be the only reason that you go above and beyond. Like, I kind of feel like, is something you should want to go above and beyond all of the time. You should want to go above and beyond if you really with somebody that you care about and you love and it's real and it's all of that. You should want to go above and beyond all of the time. It shouldn't be just because it's Valentine's Day. It shouldn't just be because it's their birthday. It shouldn't be because it's just Christmas or whatever like that. It should be because it's all of the time. It should be because it's something that you feel. Not a social obligation to do it, but it's a reason to because you want to do it. I I want to show you that I love you, not just because it's this day, but because it's it's just Monday. It's Monday, March the fifth, and I just want to show you that I love you, and I just want to do this thing for you. I just want to give you, I just want to go buy you this because I I sent you a dozen roses just cause. If honestly, this is. The folk who've been doing their thing year round, just chill on Valentine's Day. Just chill. 
Don't try to do nothing special. Don't try to. Don't. And just see what happens. Because I want. I And this is a social experiment. <laughs> you know. But on Valentine's Day, just chill. Don't go crazy. Don't. Don't be all of this stuff. Don't do that and just do it throughout the rest of the year. And see what happens. And see what does it mean. Do your, do your partner really care that you didn't do nothing on this particular day, but you did everything for the rest of the year, or you did everything leading up to this? Because there is a February 15th, and it goes through December 31st. You feel like they're, 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 the rest of the year is from, you know, after Valentine's Day, you know, there's the before Valentine's Day. That's why you have, you know, you know January, February, you know, it's there's days before February 14th, and then there's days after February 14th. So, um, you know, don't just stop on February 14th just, you know, to say love. Do it year-round. And just don't, I me mean, personally, don't do nothing on February 14th. Tell them you love them, and, hey, if you get, get them a box of chocolate or something, just that, hey, there you go. Nothing crazy. Be Make it another day. If you're doing your stuff. This is what I'm saying. If you've been doing your stuff year round, just I ain't doing nothing on Valentine's Day. If there's a game, watch the game. I don't think there's nothing on, but if there's a game, watch the game. Just chill. Or if you just want, if you naturally with this person, you live with your, you know, whatever, you just live with them or you talk to them, y'all, y'all hooking up anywhere. Just chill. Don't go crazy and all of this stuff. Just chill and see what happens. And just see what happens. Because if the only time, because if I really flip out on this one day and you're not taking in the aspect of every other day, ask yourself why. Why? I've, I've done everything good for 364 days. Out of the, you know, 364 days. Are you mad that I didn't do anything on this particular day? Why should somebody have to tell me I to, why should somebody have to tell me to tell you I love you? I'm just chill. That's but that's just me. I'm I'm crazy enough to try something like that. I'm crazy enough to do something like that. But you know, I don't know. I just I just really look at these days and you know, I always look at these days and, and I say, you know, what what is this purpose? What is the driving force behind it? If I'm doing everything right, what is the purpose of this day? What is the, This should be just another day that I say I love you. It should just be another day that I say I care. It should just be another day that what I already show you is shown. Just another day. That's, that's real love to me. That's, that's true love. That's real love. And I've seen, and this is what I've, I've seen, I've seen people who, play love, I've seen people who are actually in love. And the 14th is just another day for them to show that I am in love with you. Or it's just another day for me to disappoint you. That's all it is. It's another day. Sure, it serves its purpose because, you know, if you are in the car business, if you are in the flower business, if you are in, you know, the chocolate, if I, if I had said it, if you're in those businesses, it's a great day for you to make money. It's a great day. You pull in millions leading up to this day. So it's great. And it's like I said, it gives people a, a reason to go above and beyond, to be, to think outside of the box than what you normally would. But it also kind of exposes other things to say, does the rest of these days, do the rest of the days in the year not matter? Am I really in love? Is this the only time I can on holidays? Do I even understand the person that I'm with? Because I might think this is romantic and they don't. You feel like I might want to take a girl, you know, I'll take a girl on a, on a carriage ride. You know, I, I'm taking a girl on a carriage ride and she hates horses. Like, what's, you feel that's not romantic. That's me freaking her the hell out on Valentine's Day. Is it important? Or is it just a day to basically tell you stuff that you should have already known? That maybe, or stuff that you didn't think about. To say, hey, I don't really know 
this person that I, you know, what I thought would be romantic for them is not really romantic because I don't really know. You know, I, I don't really know them and what is romantic or I thought I had this idea. Oh, I'm going to give them what I would want them to give to me. And so there, but they don't like that. Like I, I implore everybody to go out there and listen to T.D. Jakes, that satin sheet slide. That is kind of like a killer song. That was a killer song and a killer concept because it's saying whatever works for you has got to work for them too. And if you don't know that, then you in trouble. And I kind of feel like Valentine's Day exposes all of this stuff because people try to do above and beyond or they try to do something or something like that. So it, it, it has its purposes to make or break, but it serves a purpose. But it's one day. And I'm sure somebody's going to sit here and say, well, it's one day, and you can just do this on this one day. Why are you such against this one day of just doing above and beyond and showing love? It's not that I'm against the day. It's not that I'm against what the day stands for. I'm against the idea that is on, that on this day I'm obligated to do something. Love should never be, love should not be, and I'm trying to make sure how, how I put this so that it makes sense. When you love somebody, you shouldn't be doing it because you're obligated to do it. You should do it because this is something that you just want to do. This is something that I want to give to you. It shouldn't be I'm I because I love you and it's February 14th that I'm obligated to go take you for a carriage ride. I'm obligated to go take you up to the Eiffel Tower or something. Or I'm obligated to propose to you. Or I'm obligated to get you pregnant. Which, believe you me, I'm pretty sure February 14th, <laughs> R. Kelly is going to be bumped that night. And somebody coming out with somebody. I'm just saying. Let's be, let's call game what it is. Now, we, we already know somebody, somebody getting pregnant on the 14th. But it shouldn't be an obligation. It shouldn't be something that I'm obligated to do because I don't. Love has its obligations, but they don't seem like obligations. They seem like wants. That it's I I want to be here. Not forced to be here, not forced to do it, but I want to. That's love. I've I've had the privilege of watching my parents, you know, fall in love every single day for you know for 26 years. They've been together 40 years, you know, and to watch them every day say, you know what, I choose you every single day. I choose you over anybody else. And it's a want, not just because, you know, my dad is her husband, my mom is his wife. And so, well, I'm obligated to be here. I'm obligated to do this. I'm obligated because who wants somebody Who's just like, I'm obligated. Not that I really want to be here, but I'm obligated. You know, how would that really make you feel if somebody just came out and told you, and really just told you, hey, I'm obligated to do this. It's not real. I'm not really doing this because I want to, but I'm obligated. It's only going to last so long. Because that's all it can do. It can only last so long. You know, I've watched them fall in love for 26 years. And it never felt like they were obligated to each other. They always felt like they just, they wanted it. It was natural. It was real love. It was true love. And that's what it was. I have a video on my page that where I played Gladys Knight, uh, You're the Best Thing That Ever Happened. And my parents literally, in my kitchen, wasn't nothing that, you know, was just necessarily playing. They just started dancing. You know, they're just dancing. That's love to me. For no reason at all. Not because it's the 14th or not because it's the birthday, not because it's Christmas. It's just Saturday. And because I love you, it's, we're just this. We're just going to do this. So, is Valentine's Day important to some people? Is Valentine's Day important to me? No. Because every day should be like Valentine's Day. Every day should be a day that you take time to show somebody that you love them. To show somebody that you love them. If you love them. 
whether that's your mom, whether that's your dad, whether that's, you know, your grandparents, or your, your wife, your girlfriend, your husband, your boyfriend, a person that you just like and you want to, you know, eventually make them a boyfriend or girlfriend or something. Every day should be Valentine's Day. And I don't feel like we should just have to just set aside just this one day to show that. It should be every day. And honestly, if the world literally treated every day like it was Valentine's Day, it probably we probably have a lot more relationships. We'll probably have a lot less stuff. And I mean, it's a learning curve because, I mean, let's be honest. Not everybody is meant, you know, you're going to go through some rough patches with people and stuff like that. But if we ever took the time to just show love on a constant basis, it, it may not be something that we just always have to sit here and be like, oh, my God, I got it. We might not even need a Valentine's Day if we always took the time to show this. But because you don't and because we don't, Valentine's Day. But I hope everybody, <laughs> with that being said, I hope everybody has a good Valentine's Day. Um, by all means, protect yourself. Please. You know, if you ain't ready for a baby, protect yourself or, hey, just, you know, call it call it quits. You'll know, be like, oh, no, I'm good. I'm okay. Okay, thank you. Because I'm just saying. Advice. You got to give true 100. We give advice. Be careful. You know, I said, protect yourself at all. Be like boxing. Like I said, protect yourself at all times. Know the person that you're with. Please. Know the person that you're with. Know what they like. Find out. Take the time to find out what they like. Find out what it is that, you know, they actually think is romantic. Find out. Take the time. Please. Just. By all means, have fun, of course. You know, have a great time. Enjoy each other. You know, whatever it is, whatever it is you're doing on that day, just enjoy each other. Don't let nothing, don't let nothing wreck, you know, what you and that person has. No matter what. Even if stuff doesn't go according to plan, if reservations get lost, if your car comes out, whatever. Find a way to just make it work. Don't get mad. Just be together. Just enjoy each other. If you just sit at the crib and just watch TV together on this day and eat the box of chocolate, just chill and eat the box of chocolate. Just really find out what love is. Find out what it really means. Find out what your definition is. Find out what their definition is. Just find out. Really take the time to learn this person. Even if you've been together 50, 60, 70 years, there's always going to be something that you can learn. There's always going to be something new that love can expose. It, it's real. And you might find out on that day that you don't have love. You might just got lust. You know, whatever. Take that time to really learn the person that you're with. If, if February 14th is the only day that you do that, and you take that real time and you dive into it, find out what you got. Find out if you got a lover. Find out if you got a friend. Find out if you got the confidant. Find out everything that you have in this person. Just take that time. Or if you don't feel like you want to overcomplicate it and just dive that deep, just enjoy each other. Just have fun. Be safe. And have fun. Well, I just shorter episode, but to kind of hit, I'm going to end the show like this. We didn't talk about love and everything. Um, as we all know, True 100 gets serious a lot of the times, and I know there's a lot of stuff that goes on that's definitely going on in the world that we're going to cover. Uh, but it's, it's sometimes you just got to chill out and, you know, focus on stuff that may not necessarily be the most serious, but it's something to take your mind off of the seriousness sometimes that's going on around you. It's not that you're lacking. It's not that we that we're missing or anything, anything like that, or, or oblivious to what's going on. Because truth be told, in the months, in the days, in the months to come, with the way the world is going, there's going to be a lot of stuff that I'm gonna have to talk about here on True One Hundred, and it's gonna be more serious. You know, it's gonna be, you know, more serious topics and different things like that. Especially, like I said, with the Muslim bans. You have the deportation stuff that's going on. 
So this is going to get serious, but you know, I just want to take some. I just want everybody, you know, just want to take some dates out sometimes and just talk to y'all and just chill and 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 not have a crazy over the top day, you know, with the misery and the craziness that's going on. So, so my job with True One Hundred sometimes is just to take your focus and your mind off of the craziness that's going on. And focus it on some little stuff that can bring some enjoyment to your day. So next week, next week I want to really talk about Black History because like we're Black February is is you know it's it's coming to a close. Um, shortest month, and we're and it's like we're all, damn, we're almost halfway through it. You know we're almost halfway through February. You know next week we're halfway through February, and so. I really want to sit down and like just focus and talk about Black History Month. Talk about, you know, what it means to us, you know, what it means to me, what it, you know, just different things. I really want, and I don't want to just talk about, we're not going to just talk about Martin Luther King. We're not going to talk about Harriet Tubman. We're not going to just focus on the the regular few. And I don't want this to be negative. And I, next week, I don't want it to be negative. So, But it is going to be somewhat, you know, controversial. I'm sure, of course, it's me. So that's what we do. But I just want to sit here and have a great conversation about Black History Month. And what it's like, what we went through then, what we're going through now, what the future is, how our history is rich. How, you know, what we've lost, the stuff that we have to fix as a black culture as we sit back and reflect on Black History Month and all of the different things. So next week, next week is going to be about black culture. It's going to be about Black History Month. So get ready to dive in, make your comments and everything like that. Because next week episode of True 100 with me, your boy AMA, is is we, we diving in. And like I said, as you can see, already in the Bob Marley, you know, shirt. So, um... It's, it's going to be, I, I feel like it's going to be a good episode. So tell your friends, tell your family, everybody tune in. We're going to do our best. I'm trying to figure out ways that I can actually promote the show better than it's just on Facebook and different things like that. So please shoot me some ideas of what you think I can do to better improve the show. Tell me some ideas that you think that I can, you know, do that can better promote the show. You know, share these shows, share the videos, get your friends on them, talk about some of the stuff that's been said. And if you need to go back and watch the videos, we're here on Facebook, we're here on YouTube, you know, we're on YouTube on the True 100 on YouTube. And I, I said I was going to post a link, I'm sorry, I'm going to do that, I'm definitely trying to get that done to where I can post a link and post the channel to where you guys can get to us and watch us on YouTube. And, you know, get everybody involved in the conversation, and like I said, we want to make this big. I kind of feel like this is what I'm supposed to be, this is what I'm supposed to be doing, so... I want to make this as big as I can, you know, like I said, the things are changing with me, you know, and the mental status and where I'm supposed to be and stuff going through a lot. So to get this thing better and then really get everything out there. So it's a lot of be a lot of sharing and I need y'all guys to help. I need everybody's help to do this. So tell me, talk to me. I am great at taking criticism. There's not a lot that you can say to me that's going to hurt my feelings because I'm going to take it all in stride to make this show better. There's some things that I am going to change. There's some things that probably won't change, but I definitely want to hear your opinions. I want to know what we can do to make this show better. So hit me up with your views. Hit me up with your comments and stuff and just let me know. But, you know, I definitely appreciate I appreciate everybody tuning in. I definitely appreciate everybody watching and, you know, commenting and, you know, just being a part of the show. So next week, we up here give salutes to Black History Month, but we dive into the black culture as itself. So it might be a two-part series where we do it just back-to-back, even if February closes out and it's the first Saturday in March. I, can't, I, I really don't know how the calendar is. I haven't looked at it. But um, it might be a two-parter to where we just dive in and just, you know, go as deep as we possibly can, as much as we can. So check us out next week here with me, your boy, AMA. This has been True 100. Everybody get out, enjoy the sunshine, enjoy the weather. Who knows? It might, shoot, it might rain, blizzard tomorrow, you know, with this Indiana weather. So get out. Have some fun. Like I said, again, have a safe Valentine's Day, you know, and enjoy yourselves. Much love. Peace. Catch y'all later.